this tiny computer is one of the fastest, smoothest devices I've used. But it's not perfect. In this video, I'll share my experience after using the Mac Mini M4 for a full week. What I loved, what I didn't, and some things you should definitely know before buying. Let's get started. I picked up my Mac Mini from the Apple Store at Mall of Emirates, Dubai. I'll even show my receipt for trust. The setup was super quick. But as I started using it daily, some quirks caught my attention. I have my Mac Mini connected to the Mi 23.8-inch 1Z monitor via HDMI. For input, I'm using the Logitech pop icon keys and mouse. And everything works seamlessly, except when it doesn't. Now, this was a weird one. Every time I connected something to the Thunderbolt ports or even Ethernet, my screen would glitch or go completely black for a second. Annoying, right? After troubleshooting with Apple, I found the culprit, my HDMI cable. A simple replacement fixed the issue. So if you face something similar, check your cables first. Why is the power button so hard to access? It's tucked at the back and every time I need to press it, it feels like I'm doing a mini obstacle course. Because of this, I often just put the Mac Mini to sleep instead of shutting it down. And at times, I do not even start it when I realize that my Windows machine or my Android tab are enough to do my task. Heads up, the front USB-C slots are just basic Type-C ports. No high-speed data transfers, no external monitor support. They are fine for accessories, but don't expect crazy performance from them. This thing is snappy. Compared to my Ryzen 5800U laptop, the Mac Mini M4 just feels smoother and more responsive. The Mac OS experience is clean, polished, and honestly makes my workflow feel more premium. This was my biggest reason for buying the Mac Mini M4, to edit videos on DaVinci Resolve. And so far, I have been super impressed. For my last edit, everything ran smoothly. I only experienced one minor lag moment, but I couldn't replicate it. Overall, for beginners, this Mac is more than capable. Here is something cool. You can actually use the Mac Mini without a keyboard, mouse, or even a monitor. Just connect it to your Windows machine via Ethernet or Wi-Fi and use an app like No Machine to control it remotely. Yes, in my scenario, there were downsides. Audio was delayed. The video playback was blurry. However, I found the keyboard and mouse input to be very smooth. So, you can consider this to be a temporary solution in some situations. I've connected my Logitech pop icon keys and mouse and my Samsung Buds 2 Pro and everything works perfectly. No Bluetooth issues at all. One thing I didn't realize at first, the Mac Mini actually has a built-in speaker. And honestly, it's pretty good. It's loud enough to fill a room and for casual listening, it sounds clear. However, I noticed something strange while editing my video in DaVinci Resolve. When playing it back on the Mac Mini, the background music seemed very faint. But when I played the same video on my phone and my sister's phones, the background music was much louder. So if you're editing audio, keep this in mind. You might want to check playback on another device. Not sure if I can give you the best experience over this video, but here's a sample of how the speaker sounds. I swear you're on my person, so I can't desert you, yeah. Yeah, I hope you know you're perfect. You deserve it, girl. Beautiful and worth it. You're the perfect girl. If you ever need to travel with this, then here's a quick breakdown. The Mac Mini, along with its power cable, weighs 770 grams. The Logitech Pop icon keys and mouse weighs 609 grams. My 16-inch LG Gram portable monitor with its case weighs 978 grams. The monitor's Type-C cable weighs an additional 48 grams. So, in total, my full setup weighs around 2.4 kgs. So, after one week, do I recommend the Mac Mini M4? Absolutely. It's powerful, smooth, and makes my workflow more enjoyable. But it's not perfect. So keep those little quirks in mind. 
Now, I want to hear from you. Do you have any specific questions about the Mac Mini M4? Or is there something specific you would like me to test? Let me know in the comments and I'll try to cover it in the future video. Also, would you like a review on the Alto Cube iPlay 60 Mini Turbo or the Logitech Pop Icon Combo? If enough of you are interested, I'll make those videos next. If you found this video helpful, please support us by liking and sharing this video. We are new creators and your support really helps us grow. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech reviews. I'll see you in the next one.